I'm going to be making some new upgrades to my team, but you don't have to worry. Nobody's going to be getting rage sold. Nothing like that's going to be happening. What, what's going to be going on is I'm going to be making some adjustments to the way that I actually play defense, and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys so everybody knows what's going to be happening, uh, you know, what's going to be happening going forward uh, with the videos. All right. It's, the change is going to be defensively. All right. We're going to be adding some more umph to the defensive uh, players that are there. Um, I'm going to explain everything to you right now. And uh, we're going to go through everything as far as what I'm going to be doing on the field, why I have certain players there, and try to give you guys some insight into the way that Madden has been changing up pretty much and how you can help your game get better right now after this. All right, so pretty much the first thing that we're going to be doing is this Steve Atwater, right? He's a snow beast. I'm going to explain to you exactly why he's going to be out there. When you click on his card... The, the strength factor, right? This is what's been happening. A lot of dudes are getting smashed up and being dealt with accordingly, and everybody's wondering what's going on. One of the ideal things that you can have with your players is strength, but it's overlooked a lot because, you know, the strength, the people with the strength, they usually, in most cases, are the slower players, right? As we get further to, like, the more advanced cards, golden tickets, things like that, the strength factor is going to be more increased, so he, it was a secret gem that was there the whole time that I had powered up that I never even looked at and wasn't even trying to figure out, like, should I do anything with him? But you could look at it and see an 81 strength for a secondary, you know, somebody in your secondary is huge. Plus the fact that he's going to be getting used in a different format. What I'm going to be doing with him is he's going to be playing actual zone coverage for me. He's going to be out there as my corner. All right. Just ready to play deep for dudes. Because what's happening is this, right? Even if somebody that you're playing doesn't really run the ball a lot, the slower guys with the height, they're going to make those plays on the balls that are thrown in that immediate area. And that's what I've been noticing. You, have, you, you know like how everybody comes out running crossing routes like complete idiots? These guys that have the height that are slower, they actually play the zone a lot better than the faster, shorter guys. Like your cornerbacks, like Rondé Barber and things like that. He's 5'10", whatever. He won't play it the same way that a guy that's taller and slower will because like they, they think because he has a little bit more speed, he can catch up, so he's usually out of position. Steve Atwater is going to be perfect in that position. And if you get somebody that wants to actually run the ball, he's going to get off the block a lot faster. We could check his block shed. I don't know what it is, but I think it's pretty decent um, once we get down to it. Okay, block shedding 85. That's not bad. All right? So that's the first thing, that, you know, as part of, our, part of our newer additions. The next thing that we're going to be doing is going to be we're going to be adding the actual, um, the real Derwin James. Now, I do have the rookie premiere, but what I'm going to be doing is this. I'm going to be using my additional slot as a kick returner, and I'm going to be adding the real Derwin James into the game. Now, I should be able to just add him in there without them telling me that I have two of them in there because I actually just recently bought him. Let me see if I can find him. Um, he should be someplace. Where is he? Is he that? What? Where is he? Bro, the dude's gone? I don't, know. I don't know what's going on. I should be able to. Unless they're not letting me. Did I just pass him? He has to be here. Bro, I just bought the dude. I thought he was someplace around this area. Okay, there he goes. I must, okay, I, re I went right by him. All right, so look, he goes in, and he's an 84, uh, 85, right? And you can see, like, with the way that his card is, like, things are um, not chemmed up, and you think that it's not going to count with the way that he is. But because lockdown is already 30 of 30, when I add it to him, even if it's canceled out, he still gets the chem, all right? And he also gets everything else. So we're going to accept these things right here. Obviously, because he doesn't have a power-up yet, which he should have been one of the players to get it, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to add these things to him. So we're going to give him the lockdown. All right, add that chemistry to him. You'll see how he goes up. So don't mind the other things that are going on. Give him the speed uh, with, the, um, with the sprinter. Give him all that stuff. The ability that we're going to give him is going to be hot hands because he's going to actually be our user when we run nickel over other players, all right? Because he actually fits all of, the, um, all of the thresholds that I need. He actually fits everything. So we're going to try him out in that position. Now, just to further verify it, even though you see all those things crossed out, when I click on him again to look at his numbers, you'll see that he's getting everything he's supposed to have. He's a 94 speed, and then because he's a kick returner, it doesn't show everything. It shows all the other stuff that we don't care about, but right here, right, it shows all the chems and everything being applied because he's regularly a 91 speed. Now he's 94. You see what I'm saying? So everything is adjusted along that route, and then the bigger thing is when you go down to his chemistries with zone coverage and man coverage, you see how it is? So you actually get a bonus 
free safety in your lineup by having them on special teams. All right. I just wanted to make sure everybody's aware of it. Once you have everybody with the, you know, that meets the chem threshold, everything else is fine. You could put the player at any position. It doesn't matter that it's crossed out. All right. So that's Derwin James. He's going to be our user in nickel. And pretty much we'll just have him out there in different variations because we're going to be running a lot more nickel. Now, the next thing is this. This guy, I know I said I wasn't going to rage sell anybody, but this guy has to go. Primarily because when you look at his card, it doesn't serve a purpose. His hit power is 55. You know, it's nothing that's going to help us. The zone coverage, all that good stuff, it doesn't really work for us, right? So we're going to actually power this guy down. And then from there, we're going to insert Ronnie Lott as our secondary player. But he's going to actually be one of our corners. All right, so we're going to go over to Cam uh, uh, Calvin Johnson. We're going to um, take away all the stuff that he has. Let's go ahead and re you know remove all this stuff so that we can be able to get rid of him. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, Ronnie Lott there, and we're going to power Ronnie Lott up. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to sell that uh, Calvin Johnson because we don't need him anymore. All right, so let's find... Oh, actually, I got to go and start powering up Ronnie Lott um, from the actual item binder screen so that way I can know it's the right one. In the meantime, we could actually sell that Calvin Johnson... So let's go over there and do that as well. Nobody's really going to be buying him right now. He's probably going to be going for like 50K, but we have no use for him. So it's no real reason to keep him. Plus other people that may be newer users may want him or whatever. So, you know, good luck with that, man. Like I said, like 50K, I, I, I nailed it right on the head. So we'll put him up for like 49K. It's not a big deal if he doesn't sell. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately we don't need him. So he can just do whatever he has to do. So we're going to go here. We're going to put him up for 48 and it's going to go to 49 and then somebody will end up buying him just because he's Calvin Johnson. They'll think that it's like the Calvin Johnson of old. But in this year when everything, like, it really, really matters. Uh, a lot of the attributes, he's not really that good. And I tried to, you know, do certain things with him. But he gets pancaked around. He gets treated like garbage. Like, I, I can't be running around with guys like that, dog. So Ronnie Lott's going to be out there as another corner for us. That's going to be, you can see with his strength, his strength is pretty low, but once that's his power up, when we power him up all the way, he's like a 70-something with an 80-something block shed. So that's a solo challenge award. We're going to start powering this one up because what I like to do is make sure that I do the um, the solo challenge award, guys, so that I know what I, you know what I'm saying? I know if I raid sell them, which card kept the chems that I purchased. So because they're legends and you get the legend card for free, you should always do that. Just make sure that you use the power up from the free legends card and you go from there. Look, he already sold. That's pretty cool. I didn't think anybody would want him. Bro, my training is almost done. Bro, I thought I had mad training, dog. All right, so you can see what he's going to be. He's going to be a 74 strength and all that other good stuff. So we need 3,200 plus we're going to need um, things from this situation over here. Uh, we've got to make him a San Francisco 49er. I don't see why not. Uh, he has legends. Um, so we're going to give him legends, I guess, right? Legends pass defense is what we've been running. So we could craft that. All right. We're going to give him phys physical. He's going to get that. And then ability... Um, we'll probably give him footsteps to see if that, because we're going to have him underneath. So I, I'm, I'm trying to test out, you know, things that actually works. Some of you guys say it don't work, but we're going to be trying it out and see how it actually works on the field. And, um, I'm like, regardless of what you guys are telling me, I'm feeling like we have to adjust the way that we're playing the game because there's a lot of idiots out there that are just running around sideways and into millennium with, um, with, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Michael Vick. They'll just outright come out and just run around. So at least we know if they run tosses, they run around, whatever, we have guys with high block shed and like, you know, pretty much good user capability to be able to help us out with it. So we won't have much issues. So let's go ahead and add, we're going to add him into the lineup right here so you guys get an idea. He's going to get a boosted speed also. So that also helps him a lot um, being part of the legend passing situation. So currently right now, well, we didn't add it to him. I thought we added it to him. Where, where is it? Why, why? Oh, we put the wrong one in. I'm like, bro, what's going on? We didn't put the power up in. I was like, what? Why is he at 95 already? Yeah, that's my fault, bro. Alcohol is not good for anyone. Never use it. All right, so look, we're going to go over there. We're going to take him out. And as long as EA makes us be able to put the other card in without saying we have a current version of the card in, it should go quite smoothly. So let's go over here. Let's add him in. All right, good. So they fixed that bug because usually they wouldn't even let you do it like that. All right, so now he's in the game, right? Okay. We're going to go and we're going to get the rest of the stuff done. But keep in mind, with the Legend Pass D, he's going to get a boosted plus one speed. So we need to get um, some training right now. So ideally, what we could do, we can go to um, some of the Ultimate Legends and see if we can get lucky with some of the, um, the higher price cards to get enough training to be able to do what we need to do. So let's go over to that situation. Um, we're going to go in, we're going to type in quality. We're going to go to, let's say, 92 to 93. That should give us a decent amount of training points. 
We could probably try a 94, though. Because a 94, at least we know with the 94s, they give us 9,000. Isn't it like 9,000 training points or something? Okay, that's the cheapest that they get. Um, 145. I guess we'll just go with the 94 with a 145 then. We'll buy that now. We probably could, we probably could spend less, but like I said, for the purposes of the video, we're just going to finish it up and give you guys more insight into what's going on. So we'll take the 9,000 training, and we're going to go right back into the actual uh, player lineup, and we're going to finish upgrading Ronnie Lott. Now, keep in mind, like I said, these guys are going to be playing at the cornerback position, all right? And it's all basically because I'm getting sick and tired of my corners getting flapjacked like they're at IHOP. All right, it, it, enough is enough. We have to make sure that the people that are out there are able to be formidable enough to make plays. I truly believe that this will work. We have to actually see if it's going to work. So we have to just continue to grind. And, um, bro, did I really have, okay, but hold up. I got a 94 to 95 power pass. I didn't even know I had one of those. That's pretty lit. All right, so, bro, oh yeah, we did get that from that, but I don't want to waste it on him anyway. I'll waste it on somebody else later. I didn't even realize I had it. All right, so we'll grab this. And uh, we'll put the sprinter on him. All right, so now he's a 98 overall. All right, we're going to back out. We're going to check out like his, his the majority of his stats and see what he's actually doing right now at this point with all the chems that are on him. All right? And remember, with everything that's going on, we're not going to really be using the cornerbacks. The only reason that a cornerback will be, will be subbed in will be simply because, you know, somebody's tired. So right now we have him in a 95 speed, 98 zone, all that good stuff. His strength is a 74, speed, acceleration, all that stuff is pretty good. Now, remember, I have like Deion Sanders. I have a lot of people that actually played uh, for the 49ers. I can increase that strength, which would be actual key, and it would help help him out a little bit. So um, I don't know. What is Deion Sanders right now? We have him as a Dallas Cowboy. We could actually why, – why would we do that? Um, that's not – is that helping this guy? Is that because he's a Dallas Cowboy? So that might that might be helping Deion Sanders' strength, though. I don't want to take away from Deion Sanders' strength if, unless that other guy needs it. Okay, yeah, his strength is up, but Deion Sanders would it affect the other guy? I think it, I think we should probably focus on trying to make sure that um you know that this guy gets the additional strength. So obviously, with the five players, you would get you would get more strength from. Let me just see what it's shown with the chemistry. Uh, very quickly. So it's two of five. So we'd have to have three more in order to give him that plus one strength uh, with the five components. So Deion Sanders wouldn't be able to do it by himself. But I also have Randy Moss and other players. But I think that it'll be too much. I'm going to just leave it the way that it is. We'll leave Ronnie Lott the way that he is right now. 95 speed. He's going to be running around like a psychopath, uh, playing a lot of defense and actually getting uh, block shedding that's going to help the squad. So to, fur to, further, to further evaluate what I'm talking about, when you look at his final tear, you'll see that he's a 91, but with the plus four, he's a 95, 83 block shedding. So this is truly what he's going to be. And if you, another thing you guys got to notice, I'm adding players with a lot of hit power because I'm trying to get more fumbles. That's also frustrating me because a lot of people are running around on aggressive running and you guys are hitting them and there's nothing happening. And it's very, very frustrating. So that's another reason why I chose to do it. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the new format. If you guys want more information on how to utilize these players on the field and why this is more than likely going to work for me, just leave it in the comments, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You guys have a great day. One love, y'all.